What's up, YouTube? Hit y'all with this quick one about credit. Hey, look, I do be going live, so anybody want to ask me any live questions, personal questions, anything about financial, let's get it. But look, if you want to get some credit, you can go get you some secure cards. I'm telling you, that'll be the easiest way. It could be Chime, Self, anybody that's going to let you put $500 down, $1,000 down. I would advise anybody, if they're trying to build it and build it faster, just go and put you $1,000 down on some secure credit cards. It's going to boost your credit portfolio off the rip with a thousand. Two, three hundred, you might move it a couple points, but we're trying to move it tremendously if we're trying to go faster. So put you a thousand down on a secure card. Say about two, three months, you probably start applying for some cars now. And it's going to be easier because it's going to look like you got credit history now. Some of us, why you think they don't give us a car? Well, they don't give us the car if we don't have no down payment money. Because usually when you got good credit, they're just going to look and say, oh, he pays it back. She pays it back. That's what makes credit so easy. That's why I'm here to get. It's going to be easier. When you go get a house, what are they going to pull? Your credit. I used to hear back in the day when I was coming up, don't use your credit. Don't don't get into that credit. Don't get where well, you need it. Oh, the people that were telling me that don't know how to use it properly. Because when I got into credit, I was trying to turn credit into cash. And I'm like, hold on, whoa, whoa. You telling me these people would give me $3,000, five, Navy Fed would give me $2,000, what do I do with it? And that's on the personal side. I really love it for business credit even more. So you could use this personal strategies to build your business because you're gonna need personal credit to get into business. And if you're gonna, let's say you are using the $1,000, bro, you're gonna have something called utilization. Don't go anything over 30%. Once you're over 30%, I call it a Steph Curry number, honestly. Anything over 30%, it'd be like, all right, I'm not near my Steph Curry numbers. They want to see you use your credit card for sure, which all banks want to see you use your credit card. That's why they keep trying to give us more and more money. But your utilization has to be down at least 30%. So if you got multiple cards, say you got about a 20K limit, right? On all your cards, you got 20K. You want to use, let's say, $1,000, $2,000 at the end of the month so we don't have that utilization. We need to pay that credit card off in full. I understand some of these partial payments, but no. If you really want to see your credit history and your credit score go through the roof, pay it in full. It's going to look way better once you start trying to go get your house that you've been wanting. It's going to look like payment. It's going to say payment history on time, 100%. That's what I like to see when I go look at mines. Why would I miss a payment? I understand, the, like I said, you shouldn't be, in my opinion, you shouldn't be using this credit card if you only can pay the minimum. So you really didn't have the money. But like I said, I turn credit into cash, so I know how to flip it in certain ways. I've used cars to, I mean, I've used cars to go to the car auction and flip them. Yo, car might be seven, eight hundred dollars at the car auction. Guess what? Let me use my credit card and guess any car salesman know what I'm saying. By the end of the month, you're trying to have that car sold anyway. Two months to the most. But long, like I said, you can pay the minimum and give yourself time. That would be only if you're trying to flip credit into cash. That's why I was like, hold on. That was my game changer in life. You telling me, especially if you have no real money. That's when you know who really is an entrepreneur, who really can. If y'all was to give me a $100,000 loan, can I bring that money back? That's when it separates the who really a boss and a CEO after that. You did. But if you're trying to get that house, go on ahead and get this credit score up. You can't duck it for nothing. For nothing. Pay off all balances. Hey, your age is going to matter a lot. Your age is going to be the main thing. So if you got a parent, for real, a grandparent that don't mind you throwing throwing you on the um just a co how you want to say it? a co-person basically if they don't mind you throwing on throwing you on the credit card putting you on there hey look say if they got 25 years of history 20 years of credit history now it's going to look like you got 20 years of history I'm telling you now i would call it a joint and just say you joining it's a joint account now say grant Grandma, can I join you on your account? Let's make it a joint account now. Just putting your name on there. So now 
remember, get the right person now. You don't want to get the wrong person <laughs> and their debt and they got debt and all this. I want to find somebody that I know he's going to buy the Corvette. He's going to buy the Benz. You know why? Because that means in about three to four to six, three to six months, you can get the same stuff because y'all have the same credit history. His debt is your debt. You, not technically, but you get what I'm saying. Like what? That's the... So it's all those ways to get past and credit faster, to build your credit portfolio up faster. Honestly, I feel like just for Americans now, I because I got a lot of people overseas on my page. I feel like most Americans should have minimum 100K in credit just sitting on the side waiting to be used, especially when they be talking about we're going into a recession. Why you can't drop that house is now $40,000 in the property. Yo, why are we not using that to our advantage? That's what I thought it was about. But I was like, when I first got into credit, I'm seeing people with the Ferraris, Lamborghinis, the designer clothes, the uh, Cartier watches, the Rolex watches. I'm like, hold on. Oh, y'all using the credit cards to buy liabilities. Like, I wouldn't, I'm only using the credit card to buy assets. That's why I was like, hold on. You telling me, like an 18 yo, you give an 18 yo some credit, they're probably gonna run it through the roof. Food, everything, you name it. Hold on, hold on. You can, why not figure out how to make money first with it? Either way, we can still get all that stuff later. That's why I was like, hold on, I can use this to my advantage now? If you wanted to go get a real estate property and you went and got business credit, <laughs> I'm seeing all these tricks to the trades because I'm like, to hear somebody say they got. They went and got four to five rental properties. Do you think they really, especially somebody young, and I can name the channels, what you think they did? If you're going to duck it, you don't want it. Just start telling me y'all don't want this money. It's a difference. Or oh, you want the money and act like it's a lottery ticket so you can blow it. Because they don't, Navy Fed don't mind giving that type of money out. Capital One don't mind giving that type of money out. And I know Amex don't mind. So if you're looking for who has the money, them three banks right there. And you still can go to your credit. Uh, of course, Navy Fed. But you still can go um, go to your credit unions. Build up from the small people first. I went straight big and went to the Amexes and stuff. So I'm like, oh, let me go in reverse and go to the little guys now. And then <laughs> you want to go get different types of loans. You don't want to just have credit cards too on it. You can go get you a loan. Something, mix it up. As long as you're going to pay it in full, it's going to be easy. Way easier now. But, look, I'm going to come back with some more videos. Y'all going to like this up. These next ones, we're going through the roof. I'm going to show you how to get this money the right way.